Ugh. Okay, this is going to be a mini vlog, um, a lot shorter than the rest of the videos because tonight uh, we're doing a roommate bonding night without Yash. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Yash. You'll, you'll be sorry. here for the next one. Uh, he's in Venice tonight. Uh, but tonight we're going to try to make pasta for scratch, from scratch. From scratch. Because uh, we've just watched Binging with Babish, his little um, basics tutorial video, and uh, we got inspired. So yesterday Kathy suggested we try making it from scratch, and hell, we're in Italy, why not? Yeah. And uh, Cam loves to cook. Uh, do you cook? I like cooking with friends. <laughs> you like cooking with friends? I dabble a little bit, but uh, none of us are, I think, well, I don't know, are you a great cook? I enjoy cooking. I don't know. Cam's a great, great cook. cook. We're Cam's subpar great cooks. Cook. We're gonna find so out. So we'll see we'll how see. this goes. <laughs> we all love good food, though. That is something. That, that we is. all love to eat. So yes. that should help. All right, let's go. Yeah. Cam, let's see your dough. My dough is looking very <laughs> it looks shapely. Like, it, it looks like what it was supposed to look like. It's looking like a uh, ball of dough. Mine doesn't look very good. It looks like a scone. <laughs> <laughs> you versus the guy she says not to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think it looks wonderful. Oh my gosh. I just want this to look okay. <laughs> If you become more Italian, you'll make better fresh pasta. So you, you have to drink wine while you make the pasta. I think it's just logical. It's a good theory. Yeah. This is so nerve wracking. Yeah, it is. Now you understand. Cam, I'm gonna start. So Cam is now holding. There's a lot of egg seeping out of this. I don't know if it's recoverable at this point. There's massive structural damage. <laughs> I think it's going okay. It feels, it feels like a dough. I think yes. it went well. I, I think so. We have mine, soft, supple, uh, I think decent. We have both of Cam's, first attempt, second. I Slightly think, firmer. Th yes, a little firmer. I think this one's a little better. Yeah. We have this mon monstrosity, can I say it? Disaster. Monstrosity. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> but, but. It was Kathy's first attempt, but I tried again and I made a perfect little baby. <laughs> This entire recipe is only seven ingredients, and it's somewhat uh, well known for being in the movie Chef. I think it's also just a really famous past recipe. Kathy, oh! what happened? I'm just not on a roll today. Um, I just pushed all this flour. <laughs> Can you not? <laughs> so right now we're gonna put our first batch of fresh, fresh pasta into the pot, and simultaneously we're going to start beginning uh, the aioli, whatever Kathy calls it. the lead on this one. <laughs> oh, can you flip out the screen? All right, we have our completed dish, homemade pasta. An hour and a half later, 
<laughs> um, all right, everyone, twirl, twirl up and give it a try. Oh Loki's so excited. I'm pretty high key excited. I don't know how to. Okay. 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 Oh my god. Nope. You're almost there. You got it. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Right. Cheers. Cheers. I'm glad we didn't put more lemon on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is really good. I wanted more lemon. It's very fresh and refreshing. So for the next one, we're going to be making cacio de pepe. This was, Kathy, say it, I can't say it. Mm. Uh -huh. Cacio de pepe. And the one we just had uh, that we're currently eating is... Pasta alio e olio. Alio e so this is just garlic, lemon, parsley, salt and pepper, and pasta. Lots of olive oil. Um, this next one, oh, and olive oil, of course. This next one that we will make is just pepper and cheese. That was really good. Oh. So this is a little bit of garlic and butter with Romano cheese and Parmesan Reggi Reggiano? Reggiano. Re Parmesan Reggiano <sighs> and black pepper. See the stringiness of the cheese. Oh my gosh, have you done it close up? <laughs> Wait for everyone to get a... Okay, get a little bit of a... It's almost, I almost forget these are homemade noodles. Mm-hmm. Like, like they look, they look like normal. All right, cheers. cheers. To our second dish. Mm. Holy sh okay. It just gets better with every bite. As you can see from the, the lack of talking that it's that good. Oh my god. This might be the best pasta I've had in Italy. It just comes to show how fresh ingredients and homemade always wins out. Always. I'll roll up my sleeves. Not Something to mention that this thing. is fresh out of the pan. We put lots of love <laughs> into it. A lot. Tastes amazing. The fact that it's, I, I think the beauty of it is that it, it's such a simple recipe and yet it tastes so good. Well, both of these. The other mm -hmm. one had seven ingredients, this has less. Mm -hmm. The other one was much fresher. This is just really this is rich. rich, creamy, mm -hmm. stringy, ooey gooey goodness. This is, what we have is probably the perfect portion size, I would say. Mm -hmm. But we're still gonna go back and finish and the rest of the pan. Yeah, yeah that's right. Just, just to make sure that we're, we're tasting yeah. the same thing. And the noodles, we, we rolled the noodles a little thinner and then we sliced them thinner as well. And that was a very good decision. <sighs> Just the right amount of every ingredient. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <sighs> I want more. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> 